So the other day I did a test to see if this, the PCD1200, put out as much grunt as the 40 volt individual batteries. More grunt, less grunt. Tested that. And I forgot to test something else. Um, we tested it with this, the HS003G in the States. That's the GSH01. And we tested the RPM on this and found that this was indeed more powerful than any 40 volt Makita battery, including the 8 amp power. But I forgot to test something as soon as I finished editing that video. I thought, hang on a minute, should do that one. The PCD01, because that runs on 18 volt batteries. And I'm sure a lot of you want to know whether that is as powerful as 40 volt batteries, because so many people say in comments all the time on my videos, there's no difference between 40 volt and 36 volt tools. They should be able to get just as much power out of 36 volt as you do out of one of these. So the tools should be the same. A 36 volt uh, 18 by two source should be exactly the same as a 40 volt, but none of them are. So why is that? Is this really that powerful? Are um, Makita putting something in the tools that makes these better? Are they deliberately not putting something in the other ones to make them not as good? What's going on? Can this do 6,000, it's got to do over 6,000 for it to really be viable. It's got to at least do 5.8. This saw is rated at 6,000. The lowest it ever sort of runs is about 5,800 RPM with a 2 amp hour battery and up to about 6,350 max with the 8 amp hour battery and about uh, 6,380, almost 3, uh, 6,400 sometimes with the PCD. 1200. So can this get anywhere near that? I have four 5 amp hour batteries in here. It's only going to use two of them. It's only going to grab the first two because two of them make 36. When that runs out, it grabs the other ones. We need to turn on our battery. We'll see they're all freshly fully charged and I'm going to see if this thing is going to get anywhere near the same as a 40 volt battery. I'm quite interested to see what this is actually. Um, I'm going to predict... I'm going to predict, um, what's that doing sitting there? Uh, we're going to say, whew, I don't think it's going to get there. I'm going to say 5, maybe maybe we'll go 5, 8, the lowest 40 volt. Let's find out. Don't cut the bloody cord, Mr. Tools. Are we ready? Make sure we're focused the right bit. Okay, you can see this. Pretty much exactly what I said. Woohoo! <laughs> um, 5,800. So about the same as the weakest 40 volt battery. So yeah, it's pretty close, but nowhere near as good as anything else. Nowhere near as good as this battery, which can get you up to 6,250 RPM on this saw. And it will also withstand that and hold it at a higher level much better than these batteries will. This will have nowhere near as much torque running with those as it will with that. Okay, if you want to see the other video that I mentioned just before, it'll be up in the top corner down in the description, along with a bunch of other links to testing this and this and this and that. Uh, see ya! Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my main channel and my other channel. I've got three of them. Woo!